Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all healthy and safe. So today I have a really cool product to share with you guys. This is the Prestigio keyboard. Now you might be thinking, it's just a portable keyboard. What's so special about it? Well, the keys actually doubles as a trackpad. So that means I can control the mouse cursor on my laptop by just running my finger through the keys and it actually works really well. So before I get to this keyboard, I first want to give a quick shout out to tonight. In about four or five hours, I'm going to be live streaming the launch of Xiaomi's new smart products. They're going to launch several products that will be part of um, its ecosystem. And Xiaomi has partnered with me to do a giveaway. So one of the pro items I'll be giving away is this, the Xiaomi Mi Band 5. I've been wearing it for the past few days. I like it quite a lot. So I have five of these to give away brand new ones so not including the one i'm already using so don't worry you're not going to be getting my dirty sweat on you i'll be giving away five brand new ones they haven't been opened yet along with some other products like a xiaomi wireless earbuds and a xiaomi tv stick basically i have 15 pieces total to give away to enter the giveaway you have to watch my live stream in a few hours 8 p.m beijing time also subscribe to my channel. And during my live stream, I'm gonna, you know, ask some questions and then people who answer the questions correctly and send it to me right there, I will pick the winners on the spot. It's gonna be completely random. So I'm just gonna, I haven't figured it out yet. I'm probably gonna like close my eyes and pick the names or maybe I'll just go by whoever gets to me first. I haven't thought of all the rules yet, but basically I'll be giving away 15 products right here, courtesy of Xiaomi. That's tonight, 8 p.m. Hong Kong time. By the time you're watching this video, it will just be a couple hours after that. Anyway, back to the Prestigio keyboard. Okay, so the first thing you notice about this keyboard is that it is very light. It weighs only 307 grams, so that's a little bit more than half a pound. So it is really damn light. So you can bring this around pretty easily. The keys have really good key travel. So this is a pretty nice scissor switch mechanism. And you see, you have very clear feedback when you press into the key. So this is a really good standalone keyboard if you're just wanting to type, but there's more you can do. As I mentioned, if you pair the Bluetooth keyboard to a Mac or a PC or an Android smartphone or a TV box, you can use the entire typing surface as a trackpad. So you see right now, my mouse cursor is moving on the main screen as I'm scrolling on the keyboard. Now, this is not just a basic scroll. You can also support multi-touch gestures, like two fingers to scroll up and down. Now, unfortunately, the three finger gestures on Mac are not available here. So I cannot cycle between the apps by swiping three or four fingers. I don't think pinching works, but you get basic one finger, two finger. And to click, you simply tap on the keyboard, like any part of the keyboard. As long as you tap into it, it will be a click. Now this company called Cleftura, they've done a really good job of building the sensors to tell the difference between when you're trying to use it as trackpad mode and when you're trying to type. To that end, you'll notice that whenever I'm typing, this strip of light will turn to blue. And then as soon as I'm trying to swipe, you see it switches to green. So that gives you a visual alert that when it's green, it's in trackpad mode. When it's blue, you're typing. Look at how fast it switches. See, now it's green. If I go out to typing, it goes to blue. So the keyboard typing experience is good. I'm a fast touch typer. So the keys give me a lot of travel and I can type without needing to look at the keyboard. You see, you get a lot of key travel and good tactile feedback. But that is not all. You can also control media playback by swiping on the F row keys. So if you swipe on this side, you can control the volume. Like you see, you can see the volume bar moving right there as I move my finger. And if I swipe here, I can control playback. So I can fast forward a little bit or I can rewind a little bit. So right now I'm playing off YouTube, so there's a little bit of buffering. But if I'm playing a downloaded video, it would just be completely smooth fast forward and rewinding. Now the company has also built a companion app so you can further customize your keyboard. As you see, you can change it to Windows or Mac or Android as you see fit. If you go to Mac, you can change the cursor speed and 
lock the F key so that you're not controlling volume accidentally and scroll speed and scroll inversion. So if you don't like that scrolling up, the article, the website goes down, you can switch it so then it's more in line with your natural finger movement. And you can turn on, click on the space key to tap. So just a lot of customization you can do. Now, obviously using this entire keyboard as a trackpad, it's never gonna be as good as using the actual trackpad on a MacBook Pro, or if you have an official Apple Magic trackpad like I, like I have here, because you know, this doesn't support pinching gestures or three finger gestures that you can get with a proper Apple trackpad. So this is not a setup that you want to use for your desktop, because if you are sitting at a desk with a table, you might as well use a mouse or an official first party trackpad that will give you more control. So instead, what this is for is for people who work on the go. So for example, let's say I want to go take this laptop to a coffee shop to work later, but I want to prop my laptop up a little bit so I can get a better viewing angle because you know it's not ergonomic friendly to keep working off a laptop screen like this. So I wanna prop up my laptop then I can use this keyboard to continue typing and still control the mouse cursor without bringing another item, a Bluetooth mouse. Another good use for this is for TV boxes. So if you're watching, you know, I have one right here actually, the Mi TV stick. Yeah, so I'll be giving this away later today. This is the Mi TV stick. It plugs into your TV and it will allow you, to, it's basically a software that will, that will allow you to run Netflix HBO Max, YouTube, any of that. But if you plug in one of these, you have to control the TV with the remote control. And usually it's fine to control playback with remote control, but what if you have to type? Let's say when you're on Netflix, you're searching for a movie, you have to cycle through all the alphabets, right? It would be a lot better if you can connect this to the TV stick, then you can just immediately type what you need to type. And you can also use the trackpad to control the software to cycle through your different apps. And this also works with Android smartphones. So again, if you have a phone with a big screen, like a Samsung Galaxy Fold, for example, I can just prop this up now at a coffee shop, at a restaurant, anywhere, and I can do work with this keyboard. And I can, once again, cycle through apps a little bit easier by swiping on a keyboard. So to me, this is a really ingenious invention that saves you a little bit of space and convenience. You don't have to bring a keyboard and a mouse just to do work on the go. You can just bring one of these and it will take care of everything. Now, this is just Gen 1, so maybe it'll get better by Gen 2 and 3. So maybe in the future, there will be a software update or a driver that will support even more gestures, like three fingers, swipe up and down, pinch in and out. So I don't know the official price for this. I don't think they even have a price for this year. This is a pre-production model, but it will go on sale soon. I'll have the company's um, website in my description below. So if you're interested in following this product, you can go check it out. So that's about it for this first look at this really cool keyboard. And just another reminder, tonight, 8 p.m. Hong Kong time, July 15th, I will be doing a live stream of Xiaomi's launch, and I'll be giving away five of these along with several other products. The preview link for the live stream, it's already live on my channel. So you can jump into it anytime. I believe by the time you're watching this video, it will just be a few hours away. So go grab some food and come back and join me for the live stream. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.